Tonight, Governor Ron DeSantis is promising changes at Walt Disney World that will benefit employee housing, boost firefighter pay, and provide more property tax dollars to benefit the region. But Democrats say the governor today just threw more salt into the wound of a dispute that's been raging for more than a year. West 2 News political reporter Greg Fox is live outside Disney's government building. And Greg, the governor says ride safety could be improved here as well. Uh, that's right. For the past 22 years, Disney and other major theme parks have operated under a special exemption with the state. That means that the parks handle their own safety inspections. They investigate their own accidents. But that could soon change in the weeks ahead, right in the legislature, which is in session right now, while the governor also gets his legal team ready for another major battle over development here. But I think what you'll find is that this is basically a sham agreement. Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis criticized the property development agreement that the former Reedy Creek Improvement District Board approved in February. It handed Disney the sole right to develop its land for at least 30 years and perhaps for many decades later. The governor promised the new board and Republican lawmakers would overturn the company development agreement. What's more, the board will evaluate workforce housing needs to add more units, provide public safety pay raises as called for by the Reedy Creek Fire Union. And the governor also promised the elimination of mask mandates, a reassessment of property values to have the company pay more in taxes to Orange and Osceola counties, and removal of Disney's exemption from ride safety and accident inspections. And I think it's all about making sure that the, the vision is, re, is made into a reality where, you know, this company is under the law, following the law, paying taxes, and, uh, and honoring the debts and, and, and not governing itself. Disney and other major theme parks have been exempt from state oversight since 2001 because they employ ride safety inspectors, including staff to oversee the monorail and other transportation. But the governor and agriculture commissioner guaranteed legislation to give the state authority to inspect following mishaps. Thankfully, it doesn't happen that often in Florida. But when it does, we have a duty to inspect and decide whether a ride can safely reopen. Democrats call the lineup of proposed changes more punishment for a company that refused to buckle under the governor's conservative ideology. We need Governor DeSantis to let it go and move on, focus on solving real problems. All of his proposals today once again demonstrate that this has nothing to do with corporate accountability and everything to do with trying to attack Disney because they made him mad when they defended LGBTQ plus Floridians. The governor made it clear that any law that would pass that would allow the state to come onto Disney property to inspect rides, to investigate after accidents occur that result in serious injury or death, would not apply to Disney's competitors, Universal, SeaWorld, Bush Gardens, uh, because Disney resides in a special district. That sounds like a legal battle in the making in and of, in and of itself. Live in Lake Buena Vista, Greg Fox, West G News. And Disney countered the governor's assertion that the vote by the former Reedy Creek board in February was a sneaky way to keep Disney in control of its development. Disney argues it was hardly a surprise because it was included last summer in a report on the company's long-term comprehensive plan. The Department of Economic Opportunity, which operates under the governor's direction, reviewed it and sent Disney a letter on July 15th reading, the department is therefore issuing a notice of intent to find the comprehensive plan amendment in compliance.